Good morning, friends. I'm working on problem set for lesson eight. The directions, as always, we read those first. Complete each statement by rounding the number to the given place value. Use the number line to show your work. Okay. So 53,000 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is what? Okay. So we are looking at the 10,000 place value. So if it helps you, you might want to just underline that place value that you're working with today. So we will put that place value at the bottom and put zeros after it to show that that is, will be our bottom amount, okay, 50,000. Now, we're thinking about counting to the next 10,000. So if we were counting, we would say 10,000, 20,000, 30,000, 40,000, 50,000, 60,000 is going to be our next 10,000. Okay. Now, when we think of our midpoint, what is between 50,000 and 60,000? That's right, 55,000. 55,000. Now, where will 53,000 fall for this? It'll actually be just below 55,000. So that would round to the nearest 10,000. It's closest to 50,000. Be sure that you fill it in on the line above, too. 240,000 rounded to the nearest 100,000. So again, I'm going to underline that place value. You don't have to, but if it helps you to focus on it, what number you're working with, then do it. Okay, so I'm going to write 200,000 here. Remember, I'm going to start with that same place value and just put zeros after it. And then, if I was counting by hundred thousands, one hundred thousand, two hundred thousand, three hundred thousand would be my next amount. Okay. Now, what would come between 200,000 and 300,000? Well, right smack dab in the middle, it's going to be 250,000. Both times, we're just putting that five marker for the midway point between the two. Okay. 240,000 would be just back below that 250,000. So it would round down to 200,000. Be sure to put that answer up in your box, or on your line, sorry. Okay, letter B. 42,708 rounded to the nearest 10,000. Again, I'm underlining that place value. You don't have to, but it helps me. Okay, so I'm going to put 40,000 with all zeros at the bottom. Okay, nearest 10,000, 40,000. 50,000 would be my next 10,000. And in between the two would be 45,000. We put a five in the next place value. Okay, 42,708 would be right about here. Okay, would we round that up or would we round that down? That one would also go down. 40,000. Okay. To the, let's see, 449,019 rounded to the nearest 100,000. Okay, between 100,000. So we're going to put that place value and all its place values will have zero after it. So 400,000. If we're counting by 100,000, it'd be 400,000, 500,000. And what is going to go between the two is that 400,000, and then we're going to put a 5 in the next place value. So 450,000. Now, this number, 449, is that going to be below or above 450? It is going to be just squeaking below, right? 449,019 is just below 450,000. So that is still going to round down to 400,000. Make sure you put your answer on the line. 406,823 rounded to the nearest 10,000 is, okay, now my 10,000s place is a zero. Don't let that trick you. 
you're going to start with zero in that 10,000th place and move all the way over. Okay? Now, we're not counting by 100,000s, we're counting by 10,000s. So, if we were starting at zero, the next one would be one. It's going to be 410,000. And that makes sense if you think about counting it. 400,000, 410,000, 420,000, 430,000. You just have to make sure that you're counting by the place value that they give you. And this one is 10,000. Now, in between 400,000 and 410,000 is going to be 405,000. It follows the same rules, friends. We're going to put a 5 in the next place value digit to the right. Okay, so where is 406? 823,000. 406,823 is just above that 405,000. So that one's going to actually round up to 410,000 and make sure you put the answer on the line. Okay. 964,103 rounded to the nearest 100,000 is going to be this digit. So we're going to put that digit down below and put zeros after it. Now, if we're counting by 100,000s and we get to 900,000, what's our next number going to be? So think about it. 700,000, 800,000, 900,000, 1 million. Okay. So there's our one million. We're going to take the lower number, 900,000. We're going to put a five next to it in the next place value. So that'll give us 950,000. 964,103 is above that. So it's actually going to round up to the next place value, which is one million. Excellent, you guys are doing good with this. Let's flip it over. Okay, now there's word problems, so you're going to have to do a little bit more on your own, but I think you can handle it. You seem like you're doing great with this so far. Okay, 975,000 songs were downloaded in one day. Round this number to the nearest 100,000 to estimate how many songs were downloaded in one day. Use a number line to show your work. It says that you have to, so you have to. So let's draw our number line. And we know automatically if we're using the number line to round, we're going to have a bottom number, a top number, and something in the middle to use as the comparison point. So if it's asking us to round to the nearest 100,000, we're going to, I'm going to underline the 9 because it helps me, 900,000. And as we just did on the previous page, when we, the next 100,000 would be 1 million. Okay. Now our midpoint, again, is going to be 950,000. So we just need to determine where to place this number. 975,000 is greater than 950,000. So we're going to put that above there, and it would round up to 1 million. So we are going to write it like this, 975,462, and we're going to use these this math symbol to show that we're rounding, that it's an estimation to about one million. Almost one million songs were downloaded downloaded in one day. And remember, when you are answering the question, go back up and put those words right into your sentence, your, in, your statement, okay? This number was rounded to the nearest 10,000. List the possible digits that could go in the thousands place to make this statement correct. Use a number line to show your work. Okay, so nearest 10,000, just to help us keep focused, they're saying that it rounded to 130,000. Okay, so again, draw my number line. I'm going to put my low amount here. The next 10,000 would be 140,000, and in between the two would be 135,000. Okay, now in order for this number 
to round to 130,000, it would have to be less than 135,000. So it could be 134,644. It could be 133,644. Oops, no. I'm sorry. To the nearest 10,000. So, if we have the 130,000, it would round down to the nearest thousand. Sorry. Okay. 133,644. 132,644 would round down. And 131,644 would round down. I think I need a little more caffeine this morning, yeah. Okay, so any of those digits in the thousands place would still make this true, okay? So we could say a zero, a one, a two, a three, or a four. All of these could all make the statement correct. All could make the statement correct. Because the number that we're looking for is in the um, is in the thousands place, if it was one hundred and thirty thousand six hundred and forty four, it would work. One hundred and thirty one thousand six hundred and forty four, one hundred and thirty. 2,644, 133, and 134. Once we got to 135,644, it would start rounding up. Okay, so that's why we stopped 0 through 4. Estimate the difference by rounding each number to the given place value. Okay, so round to the nearest 10,000. 712,350 minus 342,802. So if we're rounding to the nearest ten thousands, okay, it would be seven hundred and ten thousand. Minus three hundred and forty thousand. And when we subtract those numbers, When we subtract those numbers, we will come up with 370,000. Okay, now we're going to do it to the nearest 100,000. So, again, I'm going to look at the first place value, and we're going to consider what the next number is. If it's 5 or less, we're going to leave it alone. If it's 5 or more, we're going to um, move, use one more. So, 700,000. minus 300,000, 400,000. Okay, great work today. Make sure you do the rest of the um, exit ticket, do the homework, and the sprint. All right, guys, great job today. Oh, be, ooh, can you see that? Oh, my goodness, friends, I just realized I was so caught up in my thing. If you uh, couldn't see that, I apologize. I'm trying to get it all focused in here for you. Um, I'm on at 2 o'clock. If you need anything, please ask me. If you think you'll forget your question, write it down. I'm happy to help you. All right. Take care, guys. Have a good day.